Okay, we're going to graph basic transformation of a sine graph here. And this isn't so hard because we've already learned what tr about transformations, so we're just going to apply them to sin the, the sine graph. So what I mean by that is if I give you f of x equal to sine x, well, g of x looks like sine x, but some things are happening to it. We've got the 2 out in front multiplying by the sine, and then we have the x divided by 4. So what we're looking at is 2 f of x over 4. That's what we're looking at. That's what g of x is. It's just 2 sine x over 4. And by the way, dividing by 4 is the same as multiplying by, by a fourth. So you could also write it like this. Some, for some people, it's helpful to view it like this. All right, so we can, we can get a graph pretty quickly if we make our table and do the appropriate things. What is that 2 going to do? When we look at our table, it means we need to multiply y values by 2, and that 1 fourth is affecting the x values, and on our table we're going to multiply x values not by a fourth, by 4. That confuses a lot of kids. We're multiplying the x values by 4. So let's do that. Now, first we got to do our sine graph. This is our basic sine graph. And then we'll just do the transformations on it. So to get one period, we'll deal with the second period once we get a picture. To get one period, we're just going to start at 0 and end at one period. Well, one period of sine, sine of x, is 2 pi. And if you cut that in half, you get pi. Cut that in half, you get pi over 2, and pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2. We should all know those are the key values we're going to need. And the sine of 0 is 0, we know. Sine of pi over 2 is 1, 0, negative 1, 0. So now let's just make our new table for g of x. Okay, so we're going to multiply the y values by 2, so that means it's going to be 0, 2, 0, negative 2, 0. And we're going to multiply the x values by 4, so 4 times 0 is 0. And I'm going to, you don't have to do this in order, I'm going to go to the period. 4 times 2 pi is 4 pi. And at this point, you can either go ahead and multiply pi over 2 by 4, pi by 4, uh, whoops, not 4 pi, 8 pi. I need to learn to multiply. 8 pi. Sorry about that. All right, 4 times 2 pi is 8 pi. Now you can either multiply the rest of the x values by 4, or, so, and again, like this one's easy, this is 4 pi. The fractions might get some kids confused, but you can do that, but you could also, um, because we're multiplying all the x values by the same number, the, the ratios or proportions stay the same. So if I want this value in here, just think what's halfway between 0 and 4 pi. That's just uh, 2 pi. And notice that's also what you get if you do 4 times pi over 2, because you get 8 pi over 2, which is 2 pi. And then at this point, you can even just count 0, 2 pi, add another 2 pi, you get 4 pi, add another 2 pi, you get 6 pi. And there, we're going to plot those points. So my highest point is a 2, so I'm going to put a 2 up there, a negative 2. And my period, I'm going to put at the end. So I'm going to graph one period in the positive x value direction, and then one in the negative. Halfway here would be 4 pi. Halfway would be 2 pi, 6 pi. And now I plot my points.
There we go. And that's one period though. So read directions, it says graph two periods. We can do this, no problem, because if this length is eight pi, eight pi then if I go that, that length in the other direction, that should be negative eight pi. If that length is two pi, this length should be negative two pi. That should be negative four pi and that should be negative six pi. All right, and since we know the sine shape, we can utilize that fact to get the second period. We don't have to keep resorting to doing it so rigorously if we need just a graph. There it is. Okay, so there's the graph of 2 sine of x over 4. Notice it's not really new. What's key is that you know the key to doing these well is that you can do this without, again, and this is a known calculator problem on a test. If you can do that correctly and you know transformations, you should have no problem.